Hello there and welcome back to Trinity Stamps. Today we're going to take a sneak peek at some more products from our upcoming release. You can probably tell the theme of this video. Let's jump in and look at our new Halloween stamps. This is the 4x6 stamp set, Caught My Heart. It has the cute web with the heart in the middle. There is a spider and there's a coordinating die set that's super cool with this set. I'll show you that in a minute. But here you can see there's two images. The web is its own image. The spider is a separate image. Now the die set has three dies. The first die is gonna cut out the stamp spider, but the other two dies are standalone dies. So you can die cut out the spider and have a shadow layer for it if you want. Here you can see that web stamped and embossed with black powder and the spider stamped with some kind of purplish ink and then we're going to take a look at the die. So I'll die cut out the stamped spider first and you can see the die fits around him really nice and snug and gives a great die cut look and this can hang right from the web if you like or you can do the die cut spider. So first there's the die that cuts out a very detailed spider. Then there's the shadow layer so you can mount them together. Now the shadow layer is different than the die cut for the spider. It is just a hair bigger. So you can even use it to layer behind the stamped and die cut spider if you like. So you've got options. Here's a card by Cassie, art designer, that focuses on this set and is so fun. Next, let's look at the Spooky Silhouettes 4x6 stamp set. This is a really fun set. Everything is solid in this stamp set and it has a total of 28 stamps in this set. So you can make a scene around this spooky little house with trees, gravestones, bats, grass, birds, a pumpkin, it's really a jack-o'-lantern. It's really cool. And of course, there's dies to cut out all of these stamped images. So we're going to take a look at them die cut now so you can just see what it looks like. But of course, you could also just stamp them. They look great that way as well. So there they are, die cut out and ready to go on a card. And you can see the card I've made here, which does show you a couple of things coming up in this video, but I've made a little scene there at the bottom using the stamp set. Next up is going to be a favorite. I'm sure it's called the Witch Crafting Stamp Set and Coordinating Die Set. It's a cute little witch and she's crafting. She's cutting out a little ghost there. You can see she's got her little craft supplies. It says, I heart witch crafting. And you've got the pumpkin that's already been cut out, a little cup of brew, a stamp pad or, or a stack of paper or stack of cards, a stamp. There's a single piece of paper, pencils, glue, and some sentiments that are really fun. We're gonna take a look at all of them stamped out and die cut out. Here you can see what the images look like stamped. So that image of her in the room is one big image. And then you've got your little supporting images. Now there is a die. You can die cut out just that witch with her little craft table and her broom. So you can cut that away if you want to make a different kind of scene. Next, there are some dies in here that are different than you would normally expect. They're kind of... Um, additional dies. So you can die, out, die cut out a frame for that picture or the sentiment. You can die cut out a little piece to go in the window or die cut the window out itself. And you can die cut an extra piece of paper and extra pebbles. Next, you can die cut out all of the sentiments. And there's a sentiment here that says, with paper and glue while drinking a caffeinated brew, I made this wicked cute card for you. So you can mix and match that sentiment and make it shorter or longer because each line is die cut out separately. And then you can also use a rectangle die to die cut out this piece with the little room scene, or you could use an oval or you could use a circle, just kind of depending on how you want to do it. But I think an oval or a rectangle works really well. You can add her little cat. I mean, there's so many cute things you could do with this. So here I'll show you what those extra dies look like. So I cut out the window or the picture frame. And next I cut out a little um, kind of pattern paper that looks like alcohol paper for the window. So it kind of looks like you're looking outside. I cut out an extra piece of paper 
for her table. And then I wanted to show you this little pumpkin because it looks like she already cut out the pumpkin. Now she's doing the ghost. And then here's those pebbles. So you could add them anywhere to fill in that kind of rock wall. They also fit over some of the stamped images. So you could have a mix of colored and die cut stones on the wall. That would be really cool. And then we've got some samples from our design team so you can see how these look on a card and all colored up. It is such a cute scene. I think you guys are going to love this set. It's so great to send to your crafty friends for Halloween. It's just, look how cute. So fun. All right, next up we're going to look at some standalone dies for Halloween. Now, I know you guys all loved the Trinity Tree Box, so we now have a spooky add-on so you can make a spooky little house. There are so many dies in this set. I wanted to show you just a plain Trinity treat box so you can get a reference for what that looks like in case you haven't seen it before. But it is um, got kind of a uh, gable top there and it hooks on the sides and then you can turn this into a house with these dies. We've got different shaped windows, a door, we've got curtains you can hang or like um, ragged curtains that look like they've been, you know, clawed. We've got jack-o'-lanterns, pieces to back it, silhouettes of a witch and a ghost, and there's even lights that go on either side of the door. There's accent for the stairs and scallops to make a roof line. So there's a lot in here to really bring this to life. And you can see here the ghost inside the door. So the door opens. And then you can see we've got the witch inside the window and it is a great silhouette. So it looks like she's actually inside. And I love the look of those ragged curtains. It's so very fun. And there's even embossed detail on that door to give it some real character. And that is the spooky treat box add-on. Our next die set is also an add-on. It's the Scream and Sugar mug add-on, which goes with our very cute mug die set. So you can make some spooky little faces on those mugs. So you're gonna use this mug die right here, the very cute die, and it's gonna fit all the pieces in this set. So let's take a look at the spooky little face pieces that you can add to the mug and the sentiment which says, would you like some scream and sugar? You can use these different eye pieces and mouth pieces along with the pieces that fit at the top of the mug that can look like brains or hair or dripping blood. We've got some little scars with stitches, different teeth and bolts for the side. It's really cool. And each of those words have a shadow layer so you can easily add on the words. So here you can see those words. The words actually cut out individual letters. So you can use them with or without the shadow layer. And that little piece in the die set that looks like a mug without a handle works on the inside or the outside of the mug, which is very helpful for building these mugs. Because like here, we have die cut out the pieces from that layer, put some black behind it, and then layered it onto the full mug die cut from the darker green. And there you can see those brains with the embossed detail. It could also kind of look like hair, right? And then we've got our little Frankie. He's got the bolts coming out the side, a frowny little mouth, his super straight eyebrows. And notice that the hair is made to fit below the line and have that elliptical piece at the top that kind of looks like it could be the coffee or the inside of the mug depending on what color you die cut it from. So uh, there is our add-on for the very cute mug. It's so fun. Next up we have a single die. This is the Dainty Ghost. You can see it has that dainty scallop across the bottom. We have so many dainty dies and why not add a ghost which is so fun for Halloween. There's embossed lines in this as well that give you the look of the folded fabric. As you can see here um, the ghost is die cut from some patterned paper. I think it's just a really fun take on a ghost. And this is something you can add to your collection and use with Halloween things that you probably already have, but now you can have a really pretty ghost. And I think it's fun to layer up the pieces too to give a little shadow behind there. That's really fun as well. So here is a card made by Jenny Hall from our design team. I love how she has that glow of purple around the face. 
We have another add-on die set for you, the Creepy Candy Apple. Now this is an add-on for a die set that, can, that is coming out in this release as well. I already showed you the Apple die set, the Apple of my eye, in our sneak peek day one. So this is gonna add on with that so you can make some creepy little apples or caramel apples or candy covered apples. So you wanna use the middle apple shape. There's three different apple shapes. You wanna use the middle one and these dies are gonna fit on there perfectly to make a very generous drizzle of caramel um, that goes over the top of the apple or dipped. Looks like the apple's dipped in caramel and is drizzling down. And then we have some other pieces that layer and can make a face. So I wanted you to see the stick and the caramel apple put together, and then we'll show you the face so you can see what that looks like. But you're gonna layer up the two drizzling pieces that drizzle down from the top like this, and then die cut out the face pieces just like that. And it's gonna give you this really fun and creepy little apple. Now those pieces of the eye have extra pieces when you die cut them out that you can use to make a shadow. So let's look at these put together. So you wanna put the two drizzly pieces together. I picked out some cardstock that looks most like caramel to me. And then that's gonna go on top of your apple. And I decided I better make a green apple. I like caramel apples with Granny Smith apples. So. I had to go with green, and I think it's just really fun. So once those are glued together, you're gonna die cut out the eye pieces, and then we can put this whole thing together. You're gonna glue this down to the apple. The caramel piece is a little bit bigger than the apple, and I just wanted to show you how to put in those shadow pieces. Now, the um, eyes I'm using, I use two I die cut the eyes that are the same, so two eyes that are the same, but there's also a different eye shape, so you can have two different eyes. I just wanted this apple to look different than my red apple, so they could go together on a card, which I'm hoping to make soon. But you can see you just take those extra pieces and drop them in. I did a darker green to give it a shadow look. You could also do um, one, like the darker color of the caramel if you want and also you can make a chocolate covered apple as well which I also did so here's another card by Jenny Hall and some more cards from Cassie so you can get an idea and some samples with that set next up we have our eerie eyes so this die set has nine pairs of eerie or spooky eyes that you can use to create a background or you could just put one on a card. Um, you could die cut out the eyes and use them on something uh, like maybe our mugs or our candy apple. I don't know. You could really use these on a lot of different things. Plus we have them in so many different sizes. So that's really fun too. And I'm going to layer these or just add them to an A2 size card base so that you can see what they look like um, and kind of get a visual reference for the size but also notice how you can make an entire background with this set and I think that's really fun it's a really cool look for a, a Halloween card so there they are all die cut out and note you can save those die cut out pieces and use them on things. So I'm gonna back this with that really bright fluorescent green cardstock so you can see how those eyes really just pop from the black cardstock. Very fun. So all you'd really need is a sentiment on here, right? Yes, and we have you covered for sentiments for Halloween as well. We have this new Halloween sentiment die set. So it die cuts out these words in individual letters and then has shadow layers to mount them onto. So we have Happy Halloween, Trick or Treat, Spooky and Sweet, and Fabulous. And then we have the word your you can add there too. So I'm going to take some of our rip and stick paper and add this to the back of a piece of black cardstock and then I can die cut out all of my words. At the same time, they're going to have adhesive adhesive on the back and then it's going to make it really easy for me to add those to the shadow layer like you see right here. I've stuck them down on their coordinating shadow and I just used some really fun Halloween colors to back them. Also, you can die cut these out at the same time, the shadow layer and the word die together. And you just tape them in place so you have it evenly spaced. And then you're gonna have this really cool negative kind of piece. And then you just take the shadow layer by itself and you can mount that behind it just like that. Now, wherever there's fallout pieces from the letters like the center of the A, you're gonna wanna save that and glue it back in. But this is just gonna give you another look.
And I thought it'd be really fun to put little wiggly eyes in the O's of the boo instead. So here you can see a card with the ghost and your fabulous by Cassie. Next up, let's talk about tools because we have something so super exciting for you. I am in love with this new sketchbook. And I think you are going to love it too. I love to write my ideas out or when I see something that inspires me, make a little sketch of it. And this is designed for you to do just that. Now make sure you tune back in tomorrow because we're going to have a full reveal video on that sketchbook and show you how to use it. Next up, we've got our new giveaway set. So when you place an order of 35 or more at the shop, you can get these little tag dies. So make sure you check that out. There is a second set available for fall as well as the Halloween one. This release is hitting the shop tomorrow, August 10th. So be sure to come back then and check out our full release video and visit the shop to place your order. Happy stamping. Bye.